All right, got another greenie right here, and yeah, like that. There he goes. <laughs> YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and today, we are building a new vehicle, so, this is our, we'll call it a utility vehicle, you can attach drills to it, you can attach little storage things to the back, it's kind of fun, but I want a vehicle that yeets farm bots, so many of you have probably watched the GTA series, which I'm pretty sure GTA is not the first person to do it, but they have a ramp car, and we just recently got all these really cool ramps from the FarmBot factory, so why not try to build a ramp car? Now, I've heard different theories about these ramps. Uh, some people say they aren't destructible, which I'm still hoping that's a thing, because if you line them up on the front, you should be able to launch Haybot and the little green boys all the way up in the air, hopefully. Now, I don't think we're going to be launching any of the big boys, but... Eh, we could try. I mean, that sounds like a really terrible idea. Maybe we won't do that. But anyways, if you guys are enjoying Scrap Mechanic Survival on the channel and want to see more, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions for future builds, comment below. Alright, so this is going to be a completely new build. We're going to use this seat. This is a level 3 seat we got out of the uh, FarmBot factory. And let's go over here. Now, I know a couple things that I'm going to need. I need two more big back wheels. So let's go ahead and start to craft those. I need a little bit more wood here. And then we need probably two pistons. I don't know if I'm going to keep them like one whole like ramp shovel, but I want it to be like adjustable. So when you're driving around, you don't want it dragging the whole time because it's probably going to stop it a lot. So I'm thinking if we can elevate the ramp when we're not using it, it would probably be really, really good. Uh, for the vehicle itself so i'm thinking probably two pistons so let's get those going there we might have to upgrade these those ramp pieces are extremely heavy so we've got that i want to look into suspension maybe we should upgrade or maybe we'll do the big suspension here so i'm planning on having two big tires in the back so let's go one two and then maybe we'll have the small suspension in the front so as far as the base, if we're going to be going up against farm bots, this thing's going to need to be armored up. So I need to go ahead and start crafting some metal. Uh, this thing's going to be heavy. Hopefully it's not too heavy. You know, we could upgrade the metal a little bit. Uh, that's a little bit more durable metal block. That might actually look kind of cool. Uh, all right. I've got plenty more uh, flame wood. At least I think that's what it's called. And water over here. So let me go ahead and craft all the materials needed. And then we'll go ahead and... Try to build ourselves an awesome car. All right, so we're ready to start building here. So let's go ahead and build a little two by two area here. So let's see, let's mount the seat. How wide is this seat? It is, is it three wide? Okay, so it is, no, it's actually four. Yeah, that's four wide, okay. So really, I wanna protect the driver. So we're gonna put the uh, little bit more advanced metal right in this area. So we'll do something like this and it'll come up. So we'll make like a little protective cockpit here. So let's look at these ramps real quick. How wide are these? I want to say they're four across. Hmm. Should we do just two? I'm thinking two might get the job done. So let me go ahead and grab these. Like I want the whole ramp to go up and I really hope I can paint these by the way. So if the ramp sets like, uh, well, eventually it's going to set like that. And then like that that would be good right so if we get two more big pieces i really hope the piston can lift these the pistons are strong but i don't know if they're this strong they're probably gonna have to be upgraded just hopefully not too high of a level because if it's too high i won't be able to do it so let's go boom and then i've got one more ramp piece back here uh let's see let's put it right here and then boom so it'd be a little taller how would the driver see out of that huh it's a bit of a predicament, isn't it? Also, by the way, we're gonna do uh, big wheels in the back and small wheels in the front, which you saw me craft the big wheels. I've got a whole set of small wheels up here uh, that we can use. So I'm thinking right now, let's just go ahead and build the frame and then we'll figure out how we're gonna mount the ramp. I want the ramp to be adjustable, but if it's gonna be too heavy, it might have to be stationary. And maybe we can make the suspension adjustable. I don't know, we'll see what it can actually lift. All right, so let's mount tires onto this bad boy real quick. 
So we'll go with those. Let's see, do I have a bearings? Yes, I do. All right, and then we'll go boom and boom. So we got the big suspension on here, which it only costs like one component to upgrade these. So it's not terrible. Uh, the only problem is, is I don't have any components at the moment. So we might have to go grind and get some. Okay, let that down real quick. Oh, it compresses immediately. That's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, so it's jacked back up. I think this might actually work here. Uh, maybe. Oh, so let's put these here. This will be our steering. And if we come out like this, uh, it should be okay. Now, the front is probably going to be a little bit more skinny than the, uh, the rear as far as the uh, wheelbase. But it's really all about those ramps that are going to be in front of it. All right, so if I set this down, what happens? All right, it looks goofy, but it's somewhat working. So here, let's go ahead and connect these into here. So we'll go connect and connect. I kind of want to do a double tire in the front. What if you stack two of those? I don't think it would do anything for it, but it'd be kind of cool looking. All right, so we need to mount a motor. Let's go and put it right behind the driver here. So that's good. Now, if we were going to do some sort of ramp in the front, it would probably set on these. So if we had, say, a piston... Actually, I don't know how high this needs to be. Uh, let's see, those ramps are about, th what, three high? All right, so if I put these there and there, this should center the ramp, right? So it's one there, and then one here. All right, well, that somewhat makes sense. Now I think it's going to be too high. I don't know, I can't really tell until we actually put this down. So here, let's go ahead and go down like this and down like this like the suspension can't compress any further so i really don't think we'll have to worry about that part so if we put another ramp piece here and then another one over here technically that's about where we need to be it doesn't look big enough though like when i picture ramp car i picture the whole front being a ramp uh maybe we should make it wider Oh, and I've got more ramp pieces. I even think I have even more ramp pieces uh, back where the factory is. We left quite a bit there. Oh, boy. She looks heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the back tires are actually off. All right. So, let's see. If I adjust this up, can I get anything out of this? Oh, boy. We're going to need some counterweight in the back. All right. So, a level 3 suspension can pop it up. What if I just upgrade it maybe this one to level 2 here? Go upgrade so if you go up like this this might work actually all right so we need some counterweight let's go ahead and start sticking some heavy pieces here on the back just to see if we can get this thing to lean back a little bit no holy man <laughs> who would have thought these ramp pieces are that heavy all right let's hook this up into here let's go ahead and stick some gas into this so we have a tank i've got counterweight we don't have enough like we would have enough if i didn't have these end pieces on but it just looks so much better with the end pieces. So, yeah. All right, I need to go get a switch real quick. And we'll see if we can try to make those things go up with those pistons. All right, so we have our button here. Let's just mount it right there. And then hook it into this and that. Will you go up any? So if I can get you to go up maybe three. Let's see if this even works. All right, here we go. Oh. It, you know, it expanded a little bit. What if it didn't have the end pieces? So let's go take that off and take that off. So it works with the two front pieces, which I don't even think we need to go up that high. So let's go up maybe two. Two clears the ground. I almost think I'm going to have to ditch those two front pieces, or I could mount the front pieces off the, uh, the chassis itself off the frame. Like, I could do that instead of having them elevate. Maybe they won't be as high. I still have faith that this is going to be able to work. Here, let's go ahead and hook this into the seat here. All right, so it does drive around. Uh, the suspension in the back isn't exactly matched up, and it's still obviously off the ground. So I'll have to figure that part out. All right, so I need some more metal for the car. Plus, I need some potatoes, so I've planted those real quick. Uh, that way, we can hopefully have enough metal to stick in the back and just balance the weight of the vehicle. That's going to be the biggest thing here. All right, here they come. Come on, is this really it? Uh, did I not plant enough stuff? Oh, well, that's going to help me a little bit there. I'm going to get a little bit of metal. Come on, I need to smush all the things. Of course, I get like 20,000 circuit boards. 
Because that's the thing that everybody wants in the game. There we go. And... What are, what are these two... Wait. What are you guys doing? Huh? Are they confused? Hey! Stop that! <laughs> I don't know. They looked a little confused. The green boys. There we go. And... Boom. Alright, that ought to help us quite a bit. I would bring the vehicle over here, but I find it easier just to do this right here. Alright, so we'll collect all this and we'll go see what we got. You know, if anything, this can just be a mobile stunt ramp. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if I pointed this out. I did add dual tires to the front just because it looked a little cooler. Alright, so you got that. It can still lift it, right? So if I go whoop. Yep, still lifts it up. Alright. Alright. Uh, so yeah, in this mode, it pretty much only wants to go straight. So you definitely need to have it off the ground in order to turn. So yeah, as far as the turning and stuff, it actually still turns fairly well. I almost thought maybe I should weld the ramps together. They are still separate and on two different pistons, but I just thought that might help the pistons themselves. Alright, so we've got the basic frame of the car. Uh, now we really need to work on making it actually look decent. I'm still debating on sticking those two extra ramp pieces on. Like, I'd love to find a way to do that. You know what else would be insane? What if we uh, put thrusters on the back and had this thing go super speed into the farm bots? That could be a thing, too. Oh, and do I have those on me? No, I think they're in the workshop, but that might be something I want to do. Yep, I do have the thrusters here. Plus, this will add a bit of weight to the back. That's always a good thing. Uh, I don't know how well these are going to work. They are level fives, so you've got that going for you. So let's go boom. And let's get this one over here. Oh boy, this seems like a mistake. So I probably don't want to tie the, I want to tie them into the fuel tank, but I don't want to tie them directly into W. So maybe I'll get a button, that way I can activate them when I need them. Because these things drain a lot of fuel. By the way, we're gonna also paint these. Can I paint the ramps please? <gasps> yes! Oh, that's awesome. Hmm, what would look cool? I kind of want to go with a, a black and red, so maybe we'll have like a black ramp here. So we'll go up to the top, and maybe we'll have, we'll do a little bit of black siding here. I need to actually uh, armor up the side, just in case farm bots get around. And then maybe we'll go with a, a red vehicle here. By the way, I hate the way these blocks paint, these really armored up ones, these upgraded ones. Like that looks so weird. Like, I like the way the metal paints. So here's the metal. There we go. It's nice and red, but then you look up at the uh, the cockpit, and it's not red at all. That's a little odd it's like that. All right, so I'm tying some stuff up. I'm actually moving the gas tank a little lower. It looked really odd poking out the top. So let's do that. Let's fill this bad boy back up, and then we're going to rehook it up. So I did actually put one of the ramp pieces on the back just to weigh it down. So say if you gotta get to your vehicle real quick, you can run up the back of it and hop right into the seat. I actually added some bars up here to the front of the seat. I still wish the ramp itself was a little bit wider, but I don't think you're gonna be able to turn and do a lot of things that you need to do. So I'm actually kinda happy where we stopped with it. Uh, we can always make adjustments, but there's a couple more things I need to do to this. Uh, I need to go get a button real quick. So I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. The ramp's good. You've got some headlights on it. Uh, we painted it red. We've got a little protective box here, which we're in. Uh, let's go ahead and hook this button up here. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and make sure we got plenty of fuel here. So let's go boom and boom. There we go. So we should probably give this a little bit of a test here. Oh, yeah. So the engine is up to max. I might even turn it down a little bit. So one is your lift the ramp up to give it a bit more clearance. That way you're not bottoming out the whole time. And then two is, let's see if this works. Is your thrusters, no oh dear, okay. If this doesn't work to at least ramp it up, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Which by the way, there's a greenie crossing the street back there. Oh, can we get him? Oh, he's in the perfect spot. All right, don't move buddy, don't move. Come on, get ready. All right, thrusters on and, oh, wait, what? Oh, what? It kind of works, but he... Oh, man, he almost landed in there with us. So, Scrap Mechanics got some weird physics. He popped up on the ramp and kind of stood there. Like, I was hoping he would go into a full ragdoll sooner, which, by the way, that was scary, the whole fact that he landed in the cockpit for a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. Let's try to find a Haybot to hit. I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to work. All right, find me a hay bot. Oh, there's one right there. Wonder if I can hit him. 
Doesn't appear like there's anything in the way. Here we go. All right, guess it up. Uh oh. All right, so he bounced on. Put the ramp up. That way we can back out of here. Uh oh, there he is. Oh, he seems really confused. By the way, I didn't guarantee this was gonna work. I mean, it worked kind of on the greenie. Let's try this again. Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, buddy. Look, it just push. Oh no. Uh oh. Hey, hey, stay away from that. Stay away from. Oh. Uh, oh no! No, no! Take him out! Take him out! Take him out! Don't destroy this stuff! Whew! So, it doesn't appear like the physics want to allow this to happen. We need to somehow get them down before we're able to launch them, apparently. Because he just, they bounce off it, which makes really no sense at all. But, hmm, what could we change in order to get them to ragdoll? That way we can launch them. So here, we need to try this again. Let's go find us another, maybe another green one. Uh, is there another one in the road back here? Yes, there is. Okay, so let's hit him. All right, here we go. Thrusters on, and look, it launches them. I mean, he kind of went under it. Uh, are we up? Oh, let's do that. All right, so maybe here, let's do a line of blocks on the bottom side of this real quick. Maybe it does need to be a little bit lower. I'll give it like a little bumper down here. So let's go bumper. There we go. Drop it down. All right, let's try this again. There we go. So now, oh, that might actually work. Oh, that's attached to one side. I forgot this is two separate things. Maybe we should go two. So let's go two down and two down. How does this thing even set now? Okay, two down is a little too aggressive. So let's go the one down. So let's go boom and boom. All right, you know, I'm tempted to weld those together now just to see what would happen. All right, so we have a bumper now. Let's go ahead and try it again. And... Oh, okay, so it's still knocking them out and sucking them under the vehicle. Huh, maybe the ramp gives too much. Maybe it's moving around too much. So could I simply just go here? Let's grab this and let's turn it around. Can I weld these two sides together like that? Does that work? Does it still lift? All right, so we have a solid ramp now. Yeah, it still lifts. I mean, maybe this is what we should have done in the first place. All right, here we go. Trying again, and... Oh, there it goes. So it popped that one. <laughs> oh, I hit that one with the tires. So it's really kind of whatever scrap mechanic decides it wants to do. Sometimes you'll get the launch, but I was hoping that the farm bots would ragdoll as soon as they get hit. That way they would just roll up the ramp. All right, got another greenie right here, and... Yeah, like that. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that works too. I mean, I was hoping he'd ramp up and go back over it, but launching him forward is a thing too. All right, I need to try this one more time on a Haybot. I built probably the most useless machine here, but I actually really like it. All right, where are we at, Haybots? Come on, there's got to be one right over here to the left. They're normally in this field. Guess we can go off-roading a bit. All right. Oh, there's got to be one right out here in the open. Look for one. I see it. Okay, so he's off in the distance here. All right, here we go. Got to get all the speed. Oh, there he goes. Oh, what the heck? And now he's a ragdoll. So should we call the vehicle the Yeet vehicle or something? Because it doesn't work like the traditional GTA ramp car. There's some sort of weird bounce that happens. So when an object hits this ramp, you figured it would ragdoll and slide up over it and you just throw it in the air. But now it's like a big punter and it punts them really far. So it's kind of like an unintended consequence, but I actually really like it. So I think we're actually gonna keep this vehicle. This is cool. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this uh, Scrap Mechanic Survival episode. I just wanted to create something useless. So we kind of accomplished that here today. Uh, thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we'll see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.